If you're a non-farmer and you're driving along the roads in the fall and you see the combines out there and all this plant residues flying everywhere and all the farmers are taking off the field is the grain, well then you come back the next summer and all the residue's gone. Where did it all go? Well, I've got my trusty shovel here if I can pull it out of the ground. I was doing a little bit of digging here because there's all kinds of holes in the ground and I said, hey, what's <clears throat> What's no, going on with all these no, holes? Da no, Darren accuses me of, oh, we, we must have white grubs, <laughs> a bad insect in our field. <laughs> I said, Darren, we don't have white grubs. We control those. <laughs> well, I, I've seen many fair. There's holes out in the field where birds have been digging for different kinds of insects, especially white grubs. Well, in this particular field, there's all kinds of holes out here, and it's because we have tremendous amounts of earthworms out in the field. See, what happens is, especially for farmers who are in no-till or strip-till, like this particular field has either been in no-till or strip-till for about 10 years now. So what's happening is we're not doing full-scale tillage where a farmer will come out with a plow or some type of tillage implement and totally turn the soil over and bury all the residue. We aren't doing that out here. The residue is staying on top of the soil surface, but what's happening is all these earthworms in the soil, they're reaching up and they're pulling down the plant residue. It's great in terms of getting organic matter down in the soil, even getting some nutrients down in the soil, and also making the soil just a little bit more black so it warms up a little more in the spring. Well, another great thing with these earthworms is you've got all these holes out there, and when it rains, you have rain that moves down through those holes. You have air that moves around. Uh, the soil tilth is great because you've got all this residue being worked into the soil by these worms. And the other thing is these worms are working for us 24 hours a day, seven days a week, with virtually no pay. <laughs> you can't beat that out in your fields. If you see earthworms in your gardens, in your lawns, in your fields, yeah, they're going to make some bumps out there, but wow, the benefits they provide, getting rid of residue for you and, okay, and but incorporating they, but still, that into they, your soil. Yeah, but they don't get rid of the residue. What the earthworms will do is they'll pull that down below the soil surface, and down below the soil surface there are a lot of bacteria, and typically it's the job of bacteria to break down plant residue. Well, the other thing that happens here with plant residue, there's something called the carbon to nitrogen ratio. And basically, if you have corn stalks, for example, they have lots of carbon and very little nitrogen in them. Well, bacteria need some nitrogen to break down that residue. They have to have the right ratio of carbon to nitrogen. So when farmers will apply nitrogen to their field to feed the next crop, some of that nitrogen may end up getting used by the bacteria in order to help break down last year's crop. So anyway, it's a rather complicated process, but basically in summary, earthworms will pull that residue below ground, bacteria will typically break it down. I thought we were gonna talk about earthworms here. Brian wants to get into a chemistry lesson. You know, there's so much for you on Ag PhD. One of the things that you're to find very helpful later in the show is how to get rid of this tough weed. We call it the weed of the week and we'll show you later in the show.